Making sure students are connected has been a big challenge over the past year. But Steeler legend and Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis is trying to help. He stopped by Stowe Rocks High School today to try to close the digital divide. Paul Martino is live with more on those efforts. Paul. You know, Kim, uh, the pandemic put a spotlight on a serious problem for many children in underserved communities. They have no com uh, computers or access uh, to the Internet. Now, many efforts are underway to close that digital divide. Bettis' work with his foundation is just part of that effort. It won't go far towards closing the digital divide, but 50 students at the Stowe Rocks High School now own brand new Chromebooks. It's just a small part of the need in underserved communities. This is what's been referred to as the digital divide, and it's, it's something that's been here for a long time, but was really addressed with some urgency over COVID. Josh Whiteside heads an organization that assists low-income school districts in southwest Pennsylvania. He says the digital divide in those districts is hard to believe. In COVID, we knew that as many as 50% of students throughout our partner schools, and that's 55,000 students, those students did not have adequate devices or internet access at home. So 50 more students got laptops today and also got a chance to shake the hand of a football legend. But Jerome Bettis admits this just puts a small dent in the problem. No one person can do it alone. No one foundation can do it alone. So it's important that we all pool our resources together and create the benefit that I think it's only the, it's the, it's the right thing to do. Getting a laptop is just one part of the problem. The other problem is getting access to high-speed Internet. That's an issue that's being handled by many local communities and Internet providers. Reporting live from McKees Rocks, Paul Martino, KDKA News.